I think it threw us off a little that we thought it will be automatically go to the flap TZ side, but no. Glorious pathway, good against Ruby, so let's see how effective it will be. Yeah, and I think especially when it comes down to follow-up, Ruby likes to displace people, pull them out of position. The Glorious pathway allows TLPH to actually find that uh, possibility to regroup. But as we come in here, it's currently 1-0 and in favor of FCAP as we head into game number two between TLPH on the blue side. Once again, I get Falcons AP Bren on the red. Let's see who will take game two. Well, you can see that, yeah, okay, concussive blast and nasty as well for the side of JP. So yeah, revitalize though. That's going to add more healing towards their team fight potential. Okay, so I guess JP wants to be able to not only save lives and support the team in regrouping, but also get mass value once they are looking for that counter engage. So it begs the question, are they gonna be the first ones to make that move considering that they're very early game oriented? Like as soon as Sanford hits level four, I'm expecting him to find something, but now oh, Kyle is in so much trouble here, getting hit by a single fear, put him out of his misery, and now few caught out of position by JP, and that's gonna be another kill handed over to TLPH to open up the early game. Man, the goat himself on the sling. Very aggressive already. We have yet to reach minute number two, but already two kills on the board for the Cavalry. Really nicely done, and especially since they found a very slight advantage where Carl TZ rotates faster, hits level four faster, and Kyle was still level three. So again, Falcon AP Bread, they got to move with the times. They got to keep up tempo against TLPH like they did in game number one. I mean, hey, Team Liquid here, minute two, already a thousand goalie. That's a huge goal gap already. And yeah, it seems like they are still going for the aggressive plays here. But of Cap, you know what? They want to neutralize the situation. They still want to contest this turtle. Well, speaking of which, turtles already spawned. JP hits level four while Ogwin is currently at level three. Kyle doesn't mind delaying this, but the same can be said about Carl Teasy, who's just power farming the rest of his jungle before he gets involved. Well, we can see the setup as well here. Both teams not in a rush for this turtle. Take your call and flap. They rotate your top side, Sanford. Oh, Spear of Alpha does connect, forcing Sanford to actually flicker away. He still has the way of the dragon. He can still make a play. He just might not participate in this upcoming fight. Wait, he stops the recall. It looks like they're gonna rotate for this. Falcon JP Red will hold priority for now. JP getting involved, gets into the middle of the oh. three. hits three glorious pathways. They both get sucked in. Spear of Alpha is looking to tune, but it's going to be Kyle who finds that turtle. Despite having the blade Tempest, Carl TZ does find one back as he's looking to get away. Few trying to zone the rest, two are low, Sanji flickers out, and JP, despite everything that revitalized, could not keep his boys alive. Yeah, very good execution there by Falcon AP Bren and a recovery as well. Sure, economy slightly for still Team Liquid, but they got the neutral objective. And now, Carl TZ, the, I think his oil will go down a bit, right? Carl TZ now will find more openings perhaps towards the mid if you oblige. The bottom side is Benny QT and Super Marco. Ogwen is in that fray as well. Will they commit? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll get Benny QT, he's being relayed information, right? They know that it was going to be an orange start from Kyle TZ's side based off of the information found by Carl when he went for the early invade uh, at the second minute of the game. Here we go, JP walking down with Law and Order on towards Ogwen. He dashes away as Carl TZ does finish off the Berserker's Fury. Mm, again, tempo will go down. Um, it's anybody's game, of course, but Flap TZ, he wants the War, war Axe here on this Tur Turizla, so he wants that damage as well, already locked in. Let's see, though, penalty zone with the combination. Will it be enough to wreak havoc in the formations of Team Liquid? Now, there is a slight EXP lead for Flap TZ, which is about one minion, uh, maybe one and a half minions based on uh, the EXP bars from both of them. But I want to see the movements coming in from TLP Hate, right? Because again, they are still up in terms of, uh, in terms of gold, EXP, and even the kill count. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they are trying to properly set up for the next turtle here. They do not want to waste resources, um, spells, especially alts as well, big alts. So, let's see, Team Liquid, what will they do with the Lynx in the top lane? I think he wants to clear and then rotate towards the turtle side of the map. 
Interesting. So Samford gives up the wave over to Carl TZ on the top side because he knows he rotates even faster despite being playing Cho. At this point of time, FCAP, they hold priority over this. Can they find the steal? As Kyle's trying to blitz it down, he's going to get locked and quickly hit by the third hit of Jeet Kune Do. No way of the Dragons. They get pulled in by the I'm a Bend. A glorious pathway as well as Samford finally gets his kick off of Flap. He tries to flicker. Penalty so flicker as well. And they do get him. Sanji is out of there. Even with the Eternal Guard being called, Super Marco manages to live. Yeah, that was a Falcon's AP. Bren exploiting the fact that Carl TZ was top lane and wasn't in the fight, right? They saw that, yay, there's no link. Let's just ram at Team Liquid's formation. And there you go. They got the newts. They got the fight as well. And now this gold lead that Team Liquid has earlier on diminished. Oh, Ben and QT unable to get some kind of EXP or gold back. As Few is able to take away the river uh, crab. Falcons AP bread sticking very tightly together to make sure that this is going to be a clean early game and they're going even as they are slowly scaling up. Carl gets into the mix against Flap Teasy here. I don't think he'll be able to kill him just yet despite having a two level lead, but let's look back a bit as we see JP caught out in the middle oh. of the mix. Ah, oh, Spear of Alpha as well. Can't even abuse the movement speed from the glorious pathway. Yeah, too much crowd control there. Even he spent his ult to no avail. He still falls. Carl Teasy though. Shout out has the Hoss Clouds already. So that's uh, critical and lifesteal in hand. Expect now he can dive more. He can perhaps take on the Terizla top lane. Well, let's find out because once again, both Flap TC and Super Marco have been doing a really good job as a lot of the tempo and a lot of the plays being made by Falcon's AP Ren is just ahead of the curve against TLPH. And this is off of like a single team fight despite TLPH finding three kills so early on. Yeah, but what a way, what a recovery from Falcon's AP Ren, right? And now with the last turtle um, spawning, Falcon's AP Ren definitely they want to have that perfect turtle. Team Liquid, oh. they are in position to a contest. Oh, Kyle does spot out Samford. He's trying to get on out of there. The Dominator's Descent is already out. Third energy could go towards Open Side, but JP wow. forced to use the Glorious Pathway and disengage from the Eternal Guard. That's a lot of big ticket ultimates being used from both sides as they just want this turtle. Carl, he's sticking nearby. He gets right on top of you, knowing that he doesn't have the Dominators to set quickly with the Blade of Tempest. He should be able oh. to find this. Spear Alpha does connect while well, the back line is getting zoned away by Flap TZ. Nobody's dead just yet, but Carl can't have enough energy to do everything. He ends up dying on the wall as Flap is still looking for more. Way of the Dragon underneath the turret, but Open saves his life, quickly locking him down. Again, same like the second turtle, Fast and Safety Brim. They are a man up in and that turtle fight, Benny was busy pushing bottom side, and of course they exploit that fight again. They get the perfect turtle, and Team Liquid again behind Carl TZ though. His rotations will be slightly punished because of that death. Yeah, and Falcon's AP brand continue to hurt the economy of TLPH. Every single time they've won a team fight, they take all the neutrals. Wait, penalty zone coming in from Flap TZ with Dominators. He said, take oh him out, goodness. Kyle TZ. So far ahead, tanking the damage. Glorious pathway to keep him in check. And now it's going to be the Divine Blades coming down. Fuel finds one. Flap TZ finds another. And Samford is able to trade one back. It's still a three for one trade in favor of Falcon's AP brand as Benny QT is pushing on the opposite side of the map. They're trying to keep this tier one available. But now, they've already costed them another structure. Falcons, not happy with this, going to finally break mid-T1 as Super Marco is done with Samford. Third hit of Jeet Kune Do connects. Benny UT says, no, stop it. We're done with this. Man, what is this damage from Super Marco? He has Wind Talker, Endless Battle, and Malefic Roar. So that's why, right? I mean, you got physical resist. I have the true damage from that Endless Battle and Top it off, Malefic Roar. So yeah, Team Liquid PH, they need to think twice when committing on towards fight because Super Marco, man, he is definitely online. I think that even Kyle is quite a dangerous force now. His third item is going to be the Winter Crown, so he wants to be able to initiate these fights or at least try to counter-initiate into the biggest mass of TLPH members as possible and then go invulnerable to try mm -hmm. to keep himself alive. Yeah, that's another layer from this side of Falcon, uh, Falcon AP Bren that Team Liquid needs to solve, right? And yeah, of course, 
Not gonna be Bren, they do not forget about, about structures. Tier two, bottom side now, taken care of. So Team Liquid, again, have less oh, space to work with. Oh, Sanford trying to make the play. Luckily, is able to shoot pull away from the I'm offended. Here comes Carl. Wow. He noticed that his orange buff gets stolen away by Super Marco. That's a little unfortunate here, because the purple buff has not respawned just yet. They don't mind sacrificing a T2 for mid T1 of Falcon Safety Bread. But now the Lord is up and they're blitzing it so fast. Look at it melt away just with the help of Carl. Flap is trying to zone as many people as possible. Spear of Alpha does not connect, but the penalty zone does. Sanford in the middle of all three of them. Can't seem to get out of here. It's too much. He goes for the way of the dragon on towards Ogwin's side, but Kyle is able to take one back. Dominator's descent tells everybody else at TLPH that the charge stops here. There's no angle whatsoever from the side of T Team Liquid. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, Black uh -oh, Easy. Uh oh, the Super Mario finds one, looks for a second, forcing Sanji to flicker out of there. Ogwin locks down Carl. As soon as you use your ult, you are dead meat. Falcon's AP bread, four for nothing on top of the Lord. And that play, that fight, that might be enough for Falcon Safety Brent to take a game two. Let's see though with this Lord, can they crack the base? Team Liquid, yeah, questionable, questionable decisions there. They know they were behind, they kept on fighting. And of course, with the economy lead that Falcon Safety Brent has, they are more than welcome to have more fights. Now, Falcon Safety Brent on the offense. They will look for, I think with this firepower, they can take down two inhibitors. Let's see the defense though. Yep, they're gonna have to wait until the second wave uh, comes by. They still have the barriers of these inhibitors to get rid of. Here comes the Lord. Let's see whether or not Falcon's AP Bear want to dive this way. You can see the Glorious Pathway come up from JP, but the Conceal from Owen pulls it back with the I'm offended. The Eternal Guard is still nearby, but JP might just be going down, forcing himself to use that Conceal to make it back. Falcons AP brand, they've gotten everything that they've won. They've got a gold lead, the economy, but most importantly, off of this first floor, that's an inhibitor turret on the bottom side. Yeah, I think the two inhibitors is a little bit too ambitious. And of course, Team Liquid has the resources to just relief off two lanes for that Lord. Take a look at Ling, right? Doing work, he looks for a farm as well. Reliefing off pressure from that bottom side of the map. Falcons AP brand, though. They might want to fight here. Oh, that I'm offended does not connect. Oh, oh, this looks good. And then Super Marco forced to use his Purify. He made a mistake way, and the Dragon is going to connect against them as what? they get slowed down with the Dominator's Descent. JP trying his absolute best to create space, but with the Dominator's Descent, they've got nothing. Carl is trying to get on out of there as well, getting beamed down despite triggering the war cry. That's two for one in favor of Falcon's AP bread. Oh, they'll take it. Team Liquid will take any wins that they can, and it even especially if it's Super Marco. The shutdown bounty now heading over, head over towards Team Liquid. Let's see, mid is weak. Falcon Safety Brand, they're gonna force this. Oh, Spear of Alpha once again. Oh, Biddy TT getting absolutely melted here. Winds of Nature ain't gonna protect him from true damage as Kyle Teasy chunks him out. Carl, he knows he doesn't have Spear of Alpha, but he's running out of time because Spear of Alpha is on a really short cooldown. He sees all four of those members, he's out of there. He's given vision and he's pulling away, making sure that the wave clear is prioritized. Yeah, I mean, 7,000 gold here, Gideon. It's a little bit too much, overwhelming. Let's see Team Liquid. Can they find the angle to neutralize the economy and the map control? Falcons AP Bren, 13 minutes in, very convincing, very strong. Lord, 10, 10 seconds. So yeah, Carl TZ will be the main target. Well, he gets pulled in by the I'm offended, but he's got plenty of members to make something happen. He's gonna disengage because that purple buff is way too important. Bob, trying to zone as many as possible. It's like he's uh, forced to use his ult super early on, including the Eternal Guard to make it happen as well. But uh, still, very dangerous. Lord is up, and there's a missing retribution on Carl TZ. Yeah, that's info already, right? Falcon Baby Bren, they want to blitz this one out. Sanford, JP, they're just hovering. They have no space to work with. I mean, Carl doesn't have that purple, but he can't contest this without his retribution. Ten more seconds, and uh, Falcons, they find the punish. Sanford, he might be in some trouble here. Super Marco has chunked him out. Glorious Pathways against JP gets pulled in by the I'm Offended, even using the Revitalize to make yeah. sure that he's topped up. Yeah, JP, hard game, right? I mean, it's thus far. Lord marching mid. Let's see here. Falcons AP Bren. Okay, Carl TZ finding compensation, right? Top lane is weak. They saw the opportunity. He saw the opportunity and he'll take it. Though still, Falcons AP Bren 
they can end this game with this Lord. Yeah, luckily Carl was able to at least take out one of the waves. Now they only have to worry about mid as well as bottom side. Conceal is out from JP. Glorious pathway as well as few. Now under time, forcing the Dominators to set really early on. Both have traded their alts, but JP is chucked to low. Carl Feezy forced the reposition because of the Dominators descent, and here comes Kyle. He's got the Spear of Alpha ready to go. Somebody needs to overextend, but a great clear from TLBH as they push and pull the minions. Oh, what a defense, right? Very very clean and as well as not forced. Oh, purple bubble, orange buff battle there. Carl TZ finds it. And the top inhibitor, because of Carl TZ clearing top lane earlier, Gideon, yeah, the top lane still stands. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Let's look at the item list to see what these teams are going to be building towards the latter half of the game. Because once again, the biggest problem that they're having is that the physical damage from Super Marco was pretty uh, pretty nifty, pretty good, as some may call it. Maybe some anti curiosities might be in play, but not if they don't have the gold to buy it. Mm, that's the thing, right? I mean, gold, I mean, yeah, GDS, done, locked in, and win of nature. So Super Marco, sure, you can build anti Kiras, but then there's that true damage from that endless battle as well, right? That will come into effect. So Sanford, mm, maybe he's going on towards the immortal here, maybe looking for that extra life. Let's see though, they need something than just extra life here. They need a mistake from Falcon's AP brand. They're waiting, right? Penny QT, item-wise, they're re he's ready. Corrosion, DHS, Golden Staff, even the Malefic Roar on top of it. So damage-wise, he is already there. But the opening, the positioning, the timing here is what TM Liquid needs. And it's hard, right? Because the main core uh, chorus of Falcon's AP Bren have purified. Few has been targeted time and time again. He's been trying, uh, I mean, Sanford has been trying to find a way of the dragon onto yeah. Few, and then Chain sees it together with Sanji to get the big one shot. But that Purify allows Few to get out some pretty sticky situations. The same can be said about Super Marco, unless it was just now. This purple buff is so important. Third in, she could go on the board members as he's trying to go for the way of the dragon. Uh. Ogwin says no. Penalty zone only catches JP as he drops the glorious pathway. Falcons AP bread have won every single one of these situations from minute one, but TLPH refused to bow down. Uh, yeah, it's very, very hard to see, and Carl TZ even with him being top side means that he will concede potentially, potentially the final lord of this game. He will try to repeat what he did last time though. Let's see here, Falcon AP Bren, will they do something about it? Carl, he's sticking around, hoping that he catches somebody, uh, catches somebody rotating in an awkward spot. Hopefully, he spots out Super Marco. But actually, Super Marco is on the opposite side of the map. He's down towards the bottom side, covered by Few as well as Kyle. Well, again, this might be the final push of the game. Falcon safety, Bren, can they take game two? Let's find out. Oh, with. Already with the conceal, the Amon Ben doesn't connect on anybody. Eternal Guard has been dropped as well. This might be the blunder of a lifetime as the front line is starting to melt away as we see Benny QT getting multiple hits on towards them. Oh. And Carl already fights one SOD, ready to be taken by Benny QT anytime. He takes it. Zapper keeps going forward as Carl TZ cleans up that back line. Benny QT once again, 1v3 against Super Marco ends up going down. Immortality coming out from JP, but it's totally fine as Carl TZ needs to be able to clean this up. The Spear of Alpha does not connect the double kill already. Ready, and the light can pounce. Immortality from Carl. Does he have energy? Finch points. Jumps back into the minions. They've got to reset before the rest of FCAP start cracking down on their base. No inhibitors left. And now FCAP just healing off of the minions. Can you do it, Carl? Penalty zone on towards Sanji's side. Light can pounce to take him out. And that is game. Falcons AP Bren going to be crushing TLPH in match number two. They defied the odds, but in game two, they showed more heart. Falcon Safety Bren. What a win against Team Liquid. And Team Liquid, they failed to find that opening, failed to find and drag this game out. Well done, Falcons AP Bren. That was brutal. That was brutal for Team Liquid Philippines. I mean, 